if there's a huge demand locally for that product, you might have an issue with pricing. And I'll talk about that later on, on costing and pricing. It has another, another episode. But you should look at what is the possibility. Can I source this product? Can I get the right? Good day, my name is Dela Yemi, and I'm your expert doctor. Welcome to another session of sharing trade information on DBA TV. In recent time, I've been talking about what to consider before deciding on product for export. What to consider before deciding on product for export. What should you be considering? What should be the item issue of consideration? What should you be considering before deciding on the item of export, on the product for export? In the first episode, I talked about prohibition list. In the second episode, I talked about potential market. In the third episode, I talked about purchaser. In this episode, I'm talking about possibility of sourcing the product possibility of sourcing the product remember you want to export this item how easy is it to source the product how available is the product in your market what is the volume of this product in your market what is the volume what is what's quantity if it's commodity, what quantity is produced? If it's manufactured good, how many people manufacture it? If you are doing manufactured goods, let me talk about commodity first. Commodity, you should ask yourself, what is the volume being demanded? Now, when you are exporting a product, if there's a huge demand locally for that product, you might have an issue with pricing. And I'll talk about that later on, on costing and pricing. It has another, another episode. But you should look at what is the possibility. Can I source this product? Can I get the right quantity? Can I get the right quality of the product as required by the market I'm targeting? Remember, at this time, I've already decided on the market. And I should have an idea of the quantity, the market, the demand of the market, and the quality specification of the market. So at this point, I know the quality specification. I should be asking myself, can I get this quality? Let me give an example. Cashew nuts, for example. There are different quality specifications of cashew nuts in Nigeria. If you are doing commodities. There is a particular specification you can only get in your, your axis. Ogomosho axis. That you won't get readily in other parts. Same for sesame seed. There is white, there is brown. And there is some that are very, that have a lot of oil. And there are different places you find this product. So you need to know what is the possibility. If it is manufactured goods, you shouldn't depend on one. If you are starting a product that is manufactured, you should have two, three, four people that can produce for you. Even if you are working with one, there should be option in case anything happens and you need someone else, you need to get it from someone else. You shouldn't rely. In fact, it is called concentration risk. Relying on just one business, one company, for a particular critical product that I have to export. Relying on just one company is too much risk to bear. That does not make sense at all. It's too much risk to bear and that does not make sense at all. Because it's too much risk to bear and the fact that that does not make sense at all is the reason why you have to ask, what is the possibility of exporting this product? How available is this product? And can I get it in the required quantity? If I cannot get in the required quantity, if I cannot get in the required quantity because it is not readily available, because it is not readily available, that is the reason why I should look to another product. That is the reason why I should not consider that product. So I do not start and find it difficult to sustain the business. Have you learned something here today? Number one, in deciding on product to export, is it on the prohibition list? Number two, checklist. Is there a potential for this product? Number three, checklist. 
And how do I get purchaser? Is there purchaser? Do I have a partner, a destination I can work with to get purchaser? And number four, we have looked at today. What is the possibility of getting? What is the possibility of getting? If this video has been of immense benefit to you, give it a thumbs up. Do you have a friend that need to hear about it? Share with your friends. <laughs> Share with your friends. Beyond sharing with your friend, if you need, if you need to ask me a question, drop it in the comment section. You can also join our community to subscribe and click subscribe and click on the notification bell so you know when we upload part five. <laughs> You know, this is part four of this series, where we upload part five. My name is Dela Imibanam, your expert doctor, and I'm signing out.